What's going on people? Welcome to the Yogano Art Family. And today in the Yogano Talk segment, I'm going to be talking about why I do the Yogano Talk segment. So my Yogano Talk segment deals with more of a psychological advice for artistic world rather than some practical, you know, hands-on, you know, tutorials. And I do that too. But, you know, the Ogano talks are more so for, you know, the psychological advice to help an artist improve. And sometimes, you know, I, I see artists, you know, practice for years and, you know, have and sometimes have, you know, little amounts of development within their artwork after all these years due to mental blockages. And sometimes it could be due to not not looking at the or not studying the correct material, but more so what I'm wanting to target is, you know, the mental blockages, you know, the psychological aspects of it. And I'm not perfect myself. I still have these mental blockages as well. And the advice that I give in my Ogano Talks videos help me, you know, they help me chill out, you know, chillax and lessen the blockages by rem by remembering the, the advice. And you know, I, so I have like, so I've, I've made videos about, you know, no, no family support, how to deal with mistakes and, you know, the value of going with the flow, which is, in, you know, psychology terms, the flow state is also called the hyper focus, you know, and which I personally believe it's the secret to tapping into your own unique genius. If you have the passion for whatever you're doing, rather it's math or, you know, any, any type of sciences or any art. So I had an interest in psychology, like around high school or so. So like around, around high school, I'll chill out at my public library and read books, read a, just one book actually about psychology and different emotions that the that the human feels and you know all, all the other sciences so I'd, I'd look into you know the psychology I did because I didn't want I didn't want to be a psychologist but you know I just wanted to understand myself more and also I would look up I would look at like video sessions at home of a famous psychologist called called Carl Rogers back then and he he'd, he, he would like I'd see like videos of like long one hour sessions of him counseling his clients and I, f I just found it really interesting so I think it probably if I wasn't doing comics or manga I'd probably go into psych psycho psychology you know and then there was this there was also this time when I discovered this uh I'm not sure if you guys heard of TED Talks I mean it's pretty popular you, pro you guys probably heard of TED Talks so I listened to a lot of TED Talks video videos that are around like I think yeah 12th grade yeah a, a lot of those videos that are around 12th grade and and I would always wonder to myself who's this TED person you know and how does he have multiple clones of himself that look so different you know but you know they're, they're all different people but I always wonder who's this TED person so I think that later on sparked the idea of Ogano Talks because I was wondering who, who, who's this TED person why, why not name my thing Ogano Talks you know and then like around freshman college I started to dive deep m deeply into um, philosophy and so that's when I discovered people like Alan Watts and some of one of his favorite you know lectures that I like was his lecture of work as play which helped me reduce a lot of my stress when I was you know when I did work you know treating it as a form of play and yeah that, that was pretty cool and I'd also get into you know I guess you can say like I started discovering my love for debating with people on debate.org and back then I looked up many rules of debating like all the fallacies and you know back then you know the debates were like really fun really ampy and it it, it took a lot of creativity to you know nitpick what the other person 
what the other person's you know paragraph said and how you could you know use it to manipulate to your advantage it, it was so cool but it wasn't it wasn't uh you know an angry type of debate but it was more of a, a sports a sportsmanship debate so like back then I would stick within uh debating debating you know debating in terms of uh sticking towards my interest of you know meta meta ethical philosophy so you know if, if you guys know about it, it there is a, a GE Moore with a naturalistic fallacy and whatnot and I think he's at a uh a, a most emotion emotional this or so I don't know I got I got I got to check but it, it's been a while but yeah and like there were tons of other people like here and sometimes we'd even come up with our own theories and then you know debate with each other but it's just it was just for fun sportsmanship you know and i think that's what got me into you know getting used to typing long ass paragraphs to you know random people in you know that asked me like simple things like you know i I'd, 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 like one time i got a question on deviantart that was like Oh, how, how how are you so relaxed, sir? Or, you know, how, how do you see the good in everything? Blah, blah, blah. So I, I got like this one simple sentence. I typed, I t I, in response to that, I typed like a, a huge, a huge, really long essay. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if you read it all, but I typed this really huge, long essay. And he was like, oh, wow, that, that's a lot. No, like, but I mean, I don't remember the response, but he, I think he was shocked. I mean, who wouldn't be? But it was a habit that I've collected through these debates in the past, and so I had this 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 cool passion for you know the online debates, you know, and it may not have translated well if well if it was like real on spot one on one debates, because first of all you don't have enough time, you gotta think of something on the spot, and at the same time. Um, you don't have paragraphs to remind you what the other person has said so that if you spot some kind of contradictory element in their, you know, the argument that they want to give out, then, you know, you know, there's no proof of that because, you know, it's not put on paper. And sometimes I also have, you know, there's also an issue of, you know, forgetting what the person have said. And sometimes I get my words mi mixed up. So it wouldn't probably translate well to real life debate. But the online aspect of analyzing these paragraphs of other people was really cool. Something that I enjoyed. And so it was a really lovely way to express myself, which is what I like. The expression part of it. You know, and you know, the the debates weren't like, you know, they weren't, you know, ill mattered, ill mannered or anything like that. They weren't, you know, to get the person all, all fired up. There weren't no trolling or anything like that. It was actually, you know, the bait, debating sportsmanship, you know, like debating as a sport. And when I would get done debating, uh, with that person, they'd be like, "Oh, wow, that that's pretty cool and whatnot." And sometimes we'd like end at like, you know, nobody wins, you know, and we'd have like this neutral stance, kind of like how a stalemate is in chess. But this isn't a philosophy channel or a debate channel or anything like that. It's more so, you know, a place to record my ideas or expressions, because you know, I, I again. To, to remind you again, like I would, like someone would ask for advice online, and then like j just give one sentence, and then I'd give them like a whole like two page essay or something, you know. And, and, I, and I say to myself, you know, I'm giving all this energy to respond to this one person and that just commented on me who's probably not going to read that two page essay I just gave them. So I might as well just make a video expressing my, my thoughts. For those that do want to, you know, to, you know, just, just seek the, seek another idea. And sometimes I would like get replies like, oh, I'm not reading all that stuff that you typed, Marcus. So, you know, and, and, and it's understandable, you know, if they're not used to reading all that 
that stuff is it can be overwhelming so what's more more easier for people would be to you know make a video you know and so for my YouTube channel name I have I've previously had the name infinite bonds which was to symbolize uh, to connect to you know an infinite amount of people no matter who you are no matter how crazy you are but you know I changed it to you know I've got an art family because it, it feels much more heartwarming you know and for the same reason why on how people would act differently when they're around positive close relatives within their family as opposed to the human to as opposed to the public eye uh i wanted to you know form this type of community that's like a family that's something 100 percent authentic and real you know I may even get wild with these videos. Who, who knows? Who knows what the future holds? I'm, I may even cry on camera for getting so personal. But no, I don't. I don't, I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I'll do that. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Cause you know I do have some some mildly wild stories like back then in middle school when they thought I was a mute and couldn't talk whatsoever, and you know even more darker darker stories in my life like when i mean dark i i mean like really really dark you know but but i want to stay stay true to the you know art related things the art topics maybe i'll you know deviate from it but i want to stick with art for now i don't know it depends on what you guys feel you know but you know that'll be it and that's pretty much why I do Ogano Talks and also my YouTube channel name and all that stuff. So, yeah. Leave a like, support the channel, you know, comment and subscribe and whatnot.